Ladies and gentlemen, you know, there was a photo that surfaced not long ago on a prom picture of these students giving the Nazi salute. Now you can see all males, all white males um, are in the picture. And ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people came down on them for this photo. And I have a video that I'm gonna have you watch that came out on CNN. And then I'm gonna show you another video that follows this one. Look her up online, insurance. It's surprisingly painless. All right, here's the photo I wish I didn't have to show you. Okay, it's from a high school in Wisconsin. It's going viral. We blocked their faces for obvious reasons. It was taken last spring. It just emerged. Those are dozens of high school kids giving the Nazi salute. One boy even appears to flash a white power hand sign that looks kind of like an OK sign. He's dead in the middle of your screen in the first row on the bottom. The school says the photo was not taken on school property or at a school sponsored event. Like that ends the problem? There is an investigation into the circumstances that's going on right now. This morning, the Auschwitz Memorial Organization responded to the photo with a message on Twitter. They wrote this, and it's really something to listen to. This is why every single day we work hard to educate. We need to explain what is the danger of hateful ideology rising. Auschwitz, with its gas chambers, was at the very end of the long process of normalizing and accommodating hatred. Let's bring in D. Lemon on this. Don, one student in the picture who wished to remain anonymous, said the photographer, uh, instructed the boys to raise their hands. That's their excuse. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't know. When I was old, were they 17, right? Um, I wouldn't have done it when I was 17. I don't know why. Why do we have to block it out? Because uh, a lot they, of them are minors. They put it on social media. I know. They put it on social media for everyone to see. So why do that? Because they're sometimes old you protect enough, people even from themselves. I don't know why you do that. Because if they're old enough and bold enough to do a Nazi salute symbol and to say the things that we, I've heard, if you, if you look at the comments under that and, the, and also other young people, some of them anonymous, some of them not, talking, making the claims of what happens at that school, allegedly, right. and how some of the school officials overlook bigotry and talk of hatred and, 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 and on and on. Well, there was also a suggestion that during the election, that same community yeah. was getting propaganda from yeah. white nationalists yeah. as well. So they may have a problem there because, look, let's to your original point, it's not the kind of thing that just pops into your head to do nope. in a prom picture. You know, if you're going to do a spoofy prom picture, even if you don't want to be serious, even if you don't mean it, that's still not the first thing to pop into your head. Mm. No, it's not the first thing to pop in your head. And if someone tells you to do that, you go, wait, what? Um, so, uh, listen, I, I've gone back and forth about this all day, meaning thinking about it. I, don't, I, you know, I know how they f I feel about what they did. I'm just waiting for the excuse for people to start saying, oh, why ruin all these kids' lives and whatever? Well, they did it to themselves. By the time you are that age, you should know better when it comes to these matters. And they have to learn it from some the things that I hear that they're saying, again, allegedly, if they, they're indeed true, and there are enough students who are saying that it is. Um, they've got a real problem there. And they're learning this behavior from someone else. It just didn't come. It doesn't happen in a vacuum. Right. It wasn't just a bunch of kids who were coming around saying, you know, oh, well, let's do this. Right. They learned it from their parents and from people that they're in close proximity with. Right. This is just um, there. It's a, a whole new crop of bigots that they're creating with these young people. I understand in that school, they may say it didn't happen here. It wasn't one of our functions. It's not the end for them either. They have a duty to teach these kids, and it's going to have to be something they deal with one way or the other. D. Lemon, yeah. i got to jump. I'll be with you at the top of the hour. Valerie app. Jarrett coming up to talk about Michelle Obama's new book, the former first lady. Strong. Yeah. See you. All right. So Ladies and gentlemen, these students, some of you might have heard this story out of Wisconsin, you know, these students threw a Nazi salute. And they won't be punished. Now, why won't they be punished? Why? Because 
they're saying these students are covered under the First Amendment, which lead into what I'm about to say. Ladies and gentlemen, when I took YouTube to court, that's exactly what I was fighting about, my First Amendment rights. And this is what I want to say to each and one of the Black YouTubers out here. You have First Amendment rights too. This ain't Jim Crow up in here. Okay, now some of these folks will try to make you feel like they have to say you don't. That is not true. In a court of law, they will uphold your First Amendment rights as well. See, it doesn't matter what these trolls come and sniff around my channel saying, oh, this hate speech. Oh, you know, the YouTube got a court order to give my channel back, ladies and gentlemen. They got a court order. All you have to do is go that extra mile and fight for your First Amendment rights. When they snatch down your channel, you have to be willing to fight for your freedom of speech because you have it too. I cannot make you fight. But all I can tell you is in court, especially in civil court, if you go to a civil court or small claims, they will recognize your freedom of speech. And yes, that applies to Black people too. They will recognize your freedom of speech. These folks can't take that away from you. But if you went that extra mile, the trolling would be counterproductive. The only reason why they're prevailing on some of you black YouTubers is because you will not fight back. See, when you walk in that court of law and take YouTube to court, they will recognize your freedom of speech all of a sudden. And you'll get your channel back. See, when these trolls come around, they are banking on the fact that you won't do nothing about it. And that must change. It's not that expensive to go and file a small claim in your county. It doesn't matter where you are in the country. You don't have to go to California, Mountain View, California <laughs> to sue YouTube. You can do that from your state. But you must fight for your freedom of speech. If they're going to fight for these Nazi saluting students, then you must fight for yours. Plain and simple. They know this shit ain't appropriate and they know it's not right. But anytime they throw the First Amendment at you, you throw your First Amendment back at them in the tune of a court order. Plain and simple. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that they're not going to do nothing to these guys. Look at them. <laughs> they're not going to do nothing for the obvious reasons.
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.